welcome to day one of seven days of Hunger Games. So today I'm going to show you how to make arrows and a quiver. Sorry, I had to think about that for a second. Um, it's a bad day for tutorials. I've just slammed with stuff, so... And then Triple Thick just totally messed up on me, so yeah. Please don't comment. Don't mean comment. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to show you how to make this actual, I put it on a necklace, but you can make it smaller and make it into a charm. And sorry that my hands are dirty, it's all paint. I'm going to show you how to make this quiver, which essentially holds the arrows. And as you can see there, Triple Thick hates me. It messed up, I had to repaint. I mean, I don't know how much Triple Thick I put on this, but I put a lot. As you can see, it's ugliness. So I'm going to redo this because I am on a mission to perfect this. And look at that. I hate, tri I hate triple thick. Probably because I touch it when it's still wet, but triple thick takes forever to dry here in my state. So anyways, I'm gonna show you how to make this today. And you're gonna see me show you make how to make different arrows, but I decided that I didn't like the color of those arrows. And I don't have gold findings like I thought I did. So yeah, anyways, I think gold will look better on this. But I'm going to show you how to make the quiver itself. And then what I'm going to do is show you how to make the arrows. And there's three arrows here. And let me take it off for a second. And as you can see, there are three arrows inside and they're all held by a chain, as you can see. And you can essentially wear it See, and I just got fingerprint on it again. Look at that. I hate triple thick. <laughs> this is so messy. I hate this. I'm throwing this away. But, uh, you know, at least it's a tutorial that'll show you how to make something like this. And then I'm sure you guys can improve upon this. So here are the three arrows. And they're hanging from a chain, basically. And so when you wear it, you can either wear it so that the arrows are hanging outside of the quiver or instead what you can do is place the arrows inside the quiver itself. And so you basically have your Hunger Games quiver with arrows. So again, I'm going to show you how to make the quiver and the arrows today. My suggestion is don't use black Fimo soft clay like I did. I don't know what possessed me to do that and that's why I messed up so many times. Uh, don't use triple thick unless if you're really good with it because as you can see I did a crap job. But uh, I'm going to remake this because I like the idea and uh, I think I can definitely do a better job. But this will just give you a basic understanding. And I'm not gonna go over the supplies, I'm just gonna list it in the description bar, so make sure you check that out. And so, yep, I certainly hope you guys find some enjoyment out of this because I did not. <laughs> so. All right, thanks everyone. All right, so See the first thing Bye. I did was I went to my computer and I found a high resolution image of the mocking J pin with a black background. And I printed them in different sizes. And you'll notice here that I listed the size for you. So this is in inches. So there's that, that, that. And the size that. that I'm gonna go with is either the 0.5 or the 0 0.7. So what I'm gonna do now is cut it out with a pair of scissors.